Can we talk to Ivy some more, actually? How are you feeling? My back hurts. And I'm sad, and I don't even know why. Did you find anything helpful? No, not yet. <laughs> you know, I, I barely left. Alright, so yeah, we have the basement key, so we gotta go to the basement. Um, where is the basement? You know? Where would the basement be? I imagine you had to go downstairs. I mean, we went downstairs before. And it led to the outside train stops, right? Um, but I guess there was another door. Unless I can go over here. We can't go that way. So, uh, the only way would be go back to where we were, but I believe there was another door, though. A lot of locked doors in this train station. Not enough keys. Alrighty. Here's the basement. That's a fuse box. Hmm. Looks still alright even though the building seems to be abandoned for a long time already. The power is turning off the entire building complex. Some of the areas should have electricity again if I flip these switches. Okay, I guess we'll do that. I mean, we want, you know, we want light, I guess. A crowbar. That could be useful. We can now destroy things with a crowbar. Well, I actually want to think about it. There are a lot of boarded up doors, so... Probably very useful, actually. Hmm. Alright, well... We, uh... I guess we turned on the electricity again. That's good. I was thinking that maybe we should do the opposite, turn off all the lights, right? So Again, because the boxes mentioned something about darkness and whatnot. But I don't think we have the option to do that. Alright. Well, we got a new kind of key. Oh, crowbar. You know, doesn't that, again, doesn't that just mean... Probably not, but like... I, I, I wish we could just simply use the crowbar then on, on everything, you know? Like, who cares if it's locked? Just use the crowbar on it. Just freaking wrench out the... The actual doorknob, you know, and the lock, and just take it off, basically. Just freaking destroy the door. Like, there's no point in, you know, not vandalizing everything if nobody's here anyway. Well, she's gone. Ah, yes. Uh, you know, creepy telephone, even though the phone wasn't working before. Is that a phone ringing, but... Moshi Moshi. Hello? Male voice. The girl is gone. And you are the one who is trying to escape this place. Foolish. Who is this? Where is Ivy? She's in the vault beneath this building. If you get access to the restroom, you might be able to find a way down. Will you look for her? You won't be able to leave without her, you know. Even though, it doesn't matter. The forces that are at work now will prevent you from being successful. Hold on, who are you? And why should I even trust you? Take care, Cora. I'm going to be mysterious and avoid all your questions. Get to wreck, noob. Alright, well, save the game again. Uh, the board up door here. Oh, come on! Use your crowbar! Oh, here you go. You have to actually use it. Okay, I didn't realize. You have to manually, like, select it. Then you can use it. Alright. Oh. Photo. An old fashioned typewriter. Okay. Now, I was thinking, because we saw that typewriter in a different room. I thought it was special somehow, but it, maybe it. Because again, because I remember in um, 
in Resident Evil, you know? You would use ink ribbons to save the game, right? I thought it was going to be some kind of reference. I guess not. Uh, the garbage can is empty. Empty like Cora's soul. Push that aside. Paperwork. Come on, Cora. Don't you want to do a little paperwork? A little bureaucracy to calm you down? No? Guess not. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Well, this is all blocked off anyway, so. The upper floor collapsed in this area. I won't get through here. Hmm. Well, nothing here, I guess. In that case, let's go to the left, do some QTEs, which is not really QTEs, you know, QTE means like quick time event, which implies you gotta do it within an amount of time, right, but, uh, really there's no rush, you know, at least with that. Uh, alright, so we ended, up, we ended up back here, it seems like. A spiral symbol, by the way, I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, we ended up back here. So the door does blocking the way. And back here. It's very, very Metroid. Metroidvania style. You know, the voice mentioned the restroom. Uh, and obviously we can go in there. I wonder, was there any other boarded up doors that can open? What was this? That's a page from a newspaper article. Chenerton. Uh, and I never know what, you know, wh whenever they put dates as numbers, you never know what order it is. You know? Is it like day, month, year, or month, day, year? I don't know. I must mean the 5th. April 5th, 2006. Horrific scenario in small town. In the morning of the 4th of May, a 14-year-old student killed five of his classmates during school in the small town of Shannerton. Hmm. I wonder who could that be? Or I wonder who, you know, that could be. Uh, head teachers are shocked. Residents of the town are horrified. Such a tragedy has never happened before in this peaceful place. The suspect, da -da -da -da, was no uh, conspicuous student according to the teachers. Whatever brought this student to commit such a terrible crime is still unclear. Police and authorities are looking for the suspect. His current location is still unknown at this point of time. If you have any valuable information, please contact the insurance and police department at 4.46699. I wonder if the phone number is ever relevant. Probably not. I think, yeah, we couldn't enter that, yeah, we couldn't enter that, um, restroom before because it was, uh, I believe, too dark. Now it isn't. That's interesting. There's a lot of things we can do. I don't know. Um... Again, the, the voice mentioned to go in the restroom as well. I don't know. Alpha, oh, since we're here, okay, I'll do it here. Let's just see. Yeah, okay. I'm assuming this is the way to go. There's a freaking like hole on the floor, a big ladder. I look really tired. That doesn't really look. That looks kind of bad. The drawing, anyway. I don't know. Now, I was wondering, you know, I wonder, oh, the faces look kind of like, they don't look bad. I wonder if, like, they're just default RPG Maker portraits, you know? But, it kind of fits, actually. It has a very, like, classic, uh, feel to it, you know? It just kind of reminds me of just, like, I don't know, SNES, or, like, I don't know, just, like, old JRPG, you know, style faces. Kind of fit the format. Again, I do wonder if it's like, is it custom or is it just default assets? I'm not sure. Can't tell. You know, if I if I can't tell, that that I, I guess it's good. You know, because that's that's the, the uh, I feel like that's the um, I guess the trap 
you know, with uh, RPG Maker is people who use the default assets, you know, um, it's kind of too obvious, you know, when they're using like default assets because uh, if everybody uses it, you know, it's like not very unique and people just think, oh, it's just, you know, lazy or whatever. Uh, this wall somehow looks different. Well, they're dirty. Why is it in the bathroom? Oh, you mean the giant hole? I don't know. The guy in the hel telephone said, you know, it's there. So that's why, I guess. Uh, the X marks the spot. Huh. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Again, kind of, again, very disorientating. Every time the camera changes. Turn off the light. Oh, okay. There's something about this wall, but I can't make anything out in the dark. Hmm. I'm gonna turn on the lights again. Hello? Hello? How do I turn on the light again? Come on. Where's the light switch? Oh, there you go. That was over there. Okay, I thought it was over here. I thought, I mean, this looks like a light switch to me. I don't know. That doesn't look like a light switch to me. I forgot where the light switch was. Anyway. This wall somehow looks different. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything to do unless I use the crowbar. Okay, I'll use the freaking crowbar. Use the crowbar and everything, I guess. There's a small box inside the wall. It won't open. There's a number lock on it. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, I don't know. Um. Who doesn't want to stray in the dark needs to understand why the mind tends to move down into blackness like a spiral. Hmm. Okay, I have no idea how to solve this puzzle. Um. Three letters. I mean, I there's that newspaper article, but. I, I don't know. I don't know what to look for, to be honest. I don't know what the game's asking me. All right, wasn't this? Yeah, this was boarded up before. Um, like, I mean, this might be a bad idea, actually. But let's go in. Surely won't be murdered. Uh, strange room. Like. Small room with chair and note and a bunch of letters. There's something handwritten on this note. Do not let fear, loneliness, and hate make you blind for the light in the darkness. Okay. Letters and word fragments are drawn on the floor and the walls. They seem meaningless and incoherent. Checking. Okay, you know, it doesn't seem like there's anything here. Well, that's kind of a letdown, to be honest. Okay, let's go inside this giant hole. It's uh, pitch black down there. I'll need a light source if I want to go down. What? Damn it! <laughs> I guess not. Never mind. Okay, well, we need a light source. Where do you get a light source? Where's the freaking light source? What? Here you go. And it turns out I just missed this very like hidden document, you know, just in here. Uh, okay. So yeah. All right. I mean, this makes things really easy. All right, I knew I was missing something, but like obviously this is the actual um, piece of the puzzle that like you know that I needed. I was looking all over for this. Anyway, um, I mean, obviously, let's see, there's some, something about, like, uh, hate, fear, and loneliness, right? So, 813? I'm gonna double-check the order, though. Let me double-check. Alright, so let's look at this. So it says here, fear, loneliness, and hate. Fear, loneliness, and hate. And there was that document that I found in the other room. Fear, loneliness, and hate. So, 
138. As it turns out, you need to look at both of these rooms. Both rooms, the spiral. To be honest, I only, um, I only remember this one because it really much looks like Junji Ito's Uzumaki. You know? The other spiral room didn't look like a spiral, it looked like a weird scribble, you know? So in my head, I didn't really uh, remember it. But and that's the answer. There you go. I went all around just to find that. Um, what was it? Let me double check. Here, longest and hate. One, three, eight. One, three, eight. It's a flashlight, of course. Uh, inside the box. Seems like it's still working. Good. You found flashlight. Boo doo doo doo. We're a classic RPG maker now. All right, got a flashlight. Can I use it? I guess we don't need to use it right now. I guess. It's also misleading as well, wasn't there? There was another box that mentioned like, come back here in the darkness to get light, you know, and then we need light. Because if you go in the, in the, in the hole here, you know, Cora says she needs light to go down. So that was my first thought, but it seems like you can't solve that puzzle right now. So that's kind of like misleading as well. Anyway, now we can go down. We have a flashlight. Um... Which in every horror game is not exactly a good thing because, you know, it's always like a limited light, really. Uh, it's not just dark down here, but also cold and wet. Probably the sewers. Yeah, hang on, let me, I guess, turn on my flashlight. There you go. Alrighty. You know, we're just in, in the dark sewers. A uh, little flashlight. Limited battery. What can go wrong? Hmm. I guess we'll go down? I don't know. In here? And... Jammed. Oh, I only opened one of It's a Dark Souls door. Well, it says jammed, but does that mean I can use my... I always think he's my crowbar, but I can't. I guess you can only use the crowbar on ordered up doors, you know? Alright, there's nothing down here. Let's go north. What's in here? Hmm. Can't go in there. Alright. That's the only door left, so let's go in here. Hopefully no uh, fish monsters, because some of the- Oh! Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> the game turned off my light. Anyway, I was, I was gonna say that hopefully there's no horrific uh, eldritch fish abomination, you know, comes out of the water and kills me. What's up though? Up is oh, there's a door. There's two doors then in that case. Uh here. There are times when I'm not strong and brave. During these times, I cry out all my fear and despair and solitude and silence. But nobody will hear my cries. Because they come from the depths of a dark cave. Okay, there's a giant lever. Totally not suspicious at all. What is that? Looks like some kind of cage. There seems to be something inside of it. Hmm. We can ignore it. Uh, safe haven? That sounds nice. Can save the game.
The atmosphere of this game is really good, by the way. Plus the sound effects. Nah, it's locked. Well, keyhole. What? Can I <laughs> use my crowbar? No. That's not how it works. Oh. There she is. She's right here. Cora? Is that you? Ivy. What happened? I don't know. All I remember is that I closed my eyes for a brief moment when I was in the station hall, but suddenly I was somewhere else. And then there was this... darkness. Alright, Ivy. Let me get let me get you out of here. Who tied you up on this chair? I... It's coming. Cora, get me out now, please! Okay, uh, these bells are really tight. Please hurry. Damn it, I won't make it in time. Cora, you have to hide. It must not get you. What? Uh, you can choose? What if I just like, you know, just take a moment, like, get some water. You know, it seems like you just take your time here. Um, I don't know. I will try to free her. Let's do it faster. Uh, no way, I can't get off these bonds. Run, Cobra, we won't make it. Go! Mm, no. I won't abandon you. I guess we'll just both die. Okay, we lose. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh well. I, mean, I was hoping the monster wasn't real. And I was just like... Like, ooh, I'm a spooky ghost. And then nothing happens. But nope. I guess you just die. As it turns out. Alrighty, so we're back here. Uh, obviously staying with her doesn't do anything. <laughs> we just await our death, so let's try running. Ah! Uh... Oh. Ivy, I'm so sorry. Hmm. I should have known if I was in control of the character there, to be honest. I don't know if it was a coincidence that I was pressing the arrow keys the same time the character was moving, but I don't know if there's a choice. Was there a choice to like go to the right as well? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's so quiet now. Oh, she's gone. Yeah, she's gone. If you're still alive, I'll find you. <laughs> if you're still alive. That's funny. That's it. Um, I would like to save though. I got a game over here last time, so I don't want to get another game over and have to like walk down the sewers all over again. Uh, I never thought about it. Uh, I never thought about it, but I guess I never actually wanted it to be me. I didn't even know how to do that. The others are laughing about me. They don't understand. They don't know. Someone reached out their hand for me, a hand from the darkness. Someday, they won't be laughing anymore. Okay. Uh, maybe she's not dead? I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, if we're taking Silent Hill inspiration, you know, for this game, it's like, well, I guess, I guess, spoil too much. I feel like spoilers from a different game might also spoil this game. So it's like double spoilers, but anyway. I mean, let's just say that, uh, she's kind of mysterious. Ivy character. Hmm. A signal. Lever is in a neutral position. Hmm. Uh, 
I don't know I want to touch that yet because I don't know what it even does. Back? Some kind of puzzle. Yes. Hmm. Locked, I assume? Yep. Only opens from the other side. Keyhole though. Hmm, strange. Hmm. This also had a no, no, no keyhole. Well, I don't know what it does, but it's the only choice I have, however. So I guess we'll, we'll, we'll do something with the leave. Down? Mm hmm? Oh? You okay? I'll open that up. Um... Which... Might be what I want, actually, because... Oh, well, it says... It says safe haven, right? Totally not suspicious at all, you know? If... <laughs> there's graffiti on the wall... That says safe haven next to the door... It totally is safe, right? Oh, there you go. I'm assuming this is safe. Also, spine. That seems to be a spine made of plastic. Should I take it? Uh, sure. Why not? Found. Plastic spine. Oh. Play the game. Uh. Uh. It's dark the darkness is here. What now? This is not a good hiding spot. <laughs> you know, right next to the fire. I die again. I'm gonna be so pissed. Yeah. Can I hide over here? Oh, just hide. Over here. <laughs> I just want to see if there's a, any other place to hide. Alright, gonna open the door, get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Oh, did I lose? What? I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Alright, here we go again. Ugh. At least, uh, okay, there's a save here though, so that's nice. You can hide over there. Jackie Shishi, what new? Can hide it with here. I mean, I knew, yeah, I can hide there. Um. Okay, you can. Okay, you should move that over there. That's probably a good idea, right? Uh, where else? Can hide there. Right. We probably don't want to hide near the light, you know? It's kind of obvious. Let me hide over here. Maybe, maybe hide over here. There's better angles over here. You can't get past that coffee maker. It is your weakness. The door is blocked by something. Get wrecked. Just like how I always, you know, open doors and find out that it's blocked by something. You have to go... You, you'll have to backtrack somewhere else and come back at a later time, idiot. Gone yet? Are you good? I think we're good. Alright. Yeah. You had the block. I didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't have the chance to explore the room the first time, I felt like. Yeah, you know. I didn't, I didn't know exactly what to do, but well, there you go. Uh, this thing, it, it's after me. I have to find a way out of here before it gets me. 
I imagine if you don't block the door, you know, it goes in the room and it finds you anyway. You gotta, you gotta block the door. Um, there you go. I, what I wanted to do was save the game. You don't feel safe, though. <laughs> Damn it. Well, well, in a way, you actually did get a save, actually, right before the encounter. So, I actually did get a save, technically. Uh, poetry books, crime, fantasy novels, and scary stories are in the shelf. I wonder who they belong to. Mm -hmm. Half torn apart movie poster. No more nice music though. You know the music is gone. Uh, there's a handwritten note. Okay. There once was a family of four children. But one day there was a terrible event that no one could prevent. The children's father was taken by a monster's hand. The youngest kid ran away because it did not understand. The second kid was scared and started to cry. The third and oldest child became cold and didn't know why. It yelled at the second kid to finally stop crying. Life would go on if they at least would be trying. As the second didn't stop crying to stay, the oldest took it to the cellar and locked it away. And as the crying child vanished in the cellar's dark, there was a moment when they understood the monster's mark. Okay, cool poem. I guess, or not really a poem, I don't know. The children's story, except there's a monster and they lock the kid in the freaking basement, I don't know. Light of a candle? Sure, why not? Is it nice and relaxing now? Can I save? Oh, oh there you go, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. There you go, now it's safe. Just light up a candle. Just like Course Party. Alright, there you go. Okay, this is an actual save room now, so that's good. Alright, checkpoint achieved. Um, let's see here. But uh, in order to proceed though, we probably have to change the lever here, however. And by changing the lever, then uh, we probably can't get back in the safe room, but... Oh well. Yeah, that opens that, but then closes the safe room, I, I'm, I'm imagining. That's also like, it can turn green as well, I wonder... We gotta turn that green too. Alright, let's go in here. I wonder what's behind this door. Hopefully not another monster. Mm. Oh. Oh, uh, okay, well there is a monster. So. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it. I thought it would like go the other way. Well, at least we have a save. All right, let's try this again. Let's see. Can't see me? Can't see me? Just like a Metal Gear Solid. Just like... Just sneak past me. It's just a monster in there, I guess. With a bunch of corpses, maybe? Not sure. Also, yeah, it looks like a spine. Uh, the structure reminds me of a spine. Seems like it's growing out of the floor. How is that even possible? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. We have that plastic spine. What is this plastic spine for? I don't know. Not sure. I guess we'll see. There's some medical, uh, medical equipment in the cabinet, but the moisture in this room probably makes it useless. Right is to up, left is to exit. We want to exit, right? So let's just leave. Nope, never mind. Can't do that. Well, here's another weird monster thing. Well, I guess no lights. Hmm. Let's like around it. I just want to read that note, you know. Uh, note of the sports teacher. The 14-year-old student, um, 
something lur. Anthony Tyler, I want to say. Uh, repeatedly failed to appear during sport, le- uh, sport lessons. Sport lessons? Sports lessons? Sport lessons. He maintains it's because of his inborn back problem. He used that argument in the past too, without showing an official excuse note by his parents. In fact, I think it'd be advantageous for students to have some sportive activities in order to prevent back pain if he actually suffers from such a condition. I guess he actually wants to stay away from his classmates, but since he refuses to talk to a teacher, I sadly have to evaluate his performance as insufficient. Not too bad. You fail. I mean... I mean, I know, I'm assuming it's because he's getting bullied or whatever, but... but like, can't you just stay and... I, I don't know, it's, it would be hard to get... I mean, I guess people can get creative. I don't know, it's like... It'd be, hard, it'd be hard to get bullied in, in broad daylight like that in front of a t-shirt, don't, don't you think? I don't know. It's like, stay close to the t-shirt. Unless, I don't know, unless the gym teacher is negligent, but it didn't seem like that, actually. The note actually seems to imply the teacher that she did care, but I don't know. You know, they they, they did their due, they did their due diligence. You know, they didn't they didn't like just simply say no to his excuse that he had a back problem, or whatever. He just said he just wanted a note, and didn't provide a note, but then still allowed him to do whatever he wants anyway. But I don't know. Uh, Eins in Fusio Stendio. What was that? That's German. Actually, I wonder. I, I'm not sure entirely, but I, I think this game was translated in English. Um, uh, maybe the original language is German? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, though. I'm, I'm not sure where I read that, actually, but I swear, like, this game might have been translated. A spy motif is everywhere? Yeah, I mean... I, I assume that's why the game is called Scolios. I mean, Scoliosis was mentioned before, actually. Hmm. Is that a human? Terrible. What happened to that person? The spine is missing. You know, this might be a horrible idea, but like... <laughs> what if I just put back the spine here? It's gonna like, turn on the monster and kill me. Oh, I actually turned on that for some reason. Interesting. Looks like a deformed human body. Hmm. Well, let's go down here. Oh, okay. It just leads back over here. Interesting. Ah, I can't go back that way. What? It doesn't work like Dark Souls where you like open it from the other side and then it's like it's a shortcut. I guess not. Hmm. In that case, I guess we have done all we can there. Seems like anyway. I'm guessing we couldn't do this before, maybe. I actually skipped the lever the first time. Because I was thinking like it would like summon a monster or something. So I was like... I skipped it the first time. But no, I guess it's just, it's just this? What is this? Wheelchair. Something seems wrong about it. We found bone fragment. Mm, that seems important. Oh, something opened up over there, I guess. Another mannequin. Wheelchair. Again, spine motif. Something about collecting these bones, I guess. Hmm. That looks like it has teeth <laughs> so on the bottom there. Obviously, I'm assuming these bones are not completely natural, maybe. I don't know. Again, I'm not sure, though. I'm not a doctor. I have no idea. I'm not super familiar with the human anatomy. Um. Well, we have to go through the monster room again, though. This game doesn't give us a shortcut, unfortunately. So here we go again. I mean, it should should be right. Unless, oh, oh there's no monster here. Huh, strange. 
unless it's gonna jump scare me and like pop out somewhere and kill me. I don't know. Is there a note on the table? There's a handwritten note on the table. It only says, How was school today, honey? It was terrible, mom. Everyone keeps making fun of my spine. And then they keep. I don't know, they keep suplexing me and breaking my spine. And it gets even worse. And then I die and become a vengeful spirit. I kill them. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> hmm. Alright, well. Game seems to imply that this door opens, so let's check it out. Oh, I use a flashlight. Ah! Alright, oh. Uh, these servers look even dirtier. Looks, uh, well, the layout looks very similar, actually. It looks basically the same as the last time we were here, except the water is blood red. Someone, I guess, <laughs> had a really bad case of hemorrhoids. I don't know, someone. Well, that was the only one, only room that had red water. Uh, well, let's see. We're back in the sewers. Needs to be on a different side, though. Um, I guess, I guess nothing there. It ends there, so I guess we'll go up instead. Hopefully we don't get murdered by a monster. I jinx myself. Instantly. Hmm, I wonder what that is. No, excuse me. Hello. Excuse me. Hello. Excuse me. Do, 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 do. I'll just go over here. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna go back up. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, actually, that, that was the same sewers. I don't know. I mean, again, it's disorientating because I felt like we came from a different spot, but I guess that was the same sewers, as it turns out. We were just escaping from the same place. Alright, well, there you go. We lived. What I'd like to do now is go back to the information room and save again. Oh, telephone. Hold on, hold your horses. Let me save the game first. I'm I'm being honest, I'm gonna take any chances. I know it's just like a conversation, but I'm gonna save the game first. Alright. I see a key there too, by the way. The girl is gone, isn't she? Just as as expected. Did you really think you can make a difference? At least I tried to save her. Meanwhile, you're hiding on the other side of this receiver. Let me and let me wander around in the dark by myself. I can't do this. This place is sick. Nothing makes sense, and you you brought me here, didn't you? What is this all about? Are you responsible for everything that's happening here? Everything that's happening here makes sense, even if you can't make sense of it yet. You're just as responsible as I am for the mess we're in right now. You want to leave? I won't stop you. If you want to take the easy way out, then get a train to stop in the station and leave. The signal box is right next to this building. You're on your own now, Cora. Wait. Damn it. Who is this stranger? I don't trust him. On the other hand, I have no idea what else I could do to leave this place. Maybe I should check out the signal box. Ooh, guess we'll do that. <laughs> Move the chair. Look at that. We got signal box. In here. I mean, the, the voice said it was right next to the station, right? Like, no, I haven't seen anything like it. But 
But like my first guess is like over here, maybe somewhere over here. Adjacent. There you go. Yeah, right here. Hmm. Movie posters. Any notes? Anything? No. Um. Let's go in here. Ah, save room. Was here. So he was here the whole time. I've reached the end of my save file limit only 15 saves i i need like 999 saves that's what i need oh. Art. do i want to sit down <laughs> well i wonder what that means like as soon as i sit down i explode into bloody giblets i don't know oh well let's try it Just sit down, we just relax. No, I never get up. I see her forever. This is it. This is the end of the game. True ending. You just sit on the couch forever. Okay, never mind. I don't know if it matters. We're gonna sit over here. I oh, sit over here. Hmm. Okay, I have no idea why we have the option to sit on the couch. Okay, good. I mean, I guess it's just just an uh, immersive feature. Poster for an upcoming movie. There's a note on it. A twenty six. In theaters on Friday, the twenty sixth of, of uh, the twenty sixth of October. Uh, Day twenty six is a horror movie about a masked murderer who's coming back to his hometown after several years of absence to take terrible revenge on those who once wronged him. Press reviews, brutal, ruthless, effective. Lever Shenerton. Surprisingly deep for a horror movie. Intriguing as it is disturbing. C A Z. Man. Day twenty six. Hmm. I wonder if that's relevant for anything. There's a giant lever there on over there, by the way. Hmm. There seems to be a message for one of the new staff members. Hey newbie, let me give you some important information to make your entry in this new job a lot easier. If a train announcement is been given on the phone, the arriving train will show up. Uh, will show up on the council. The council? Well, console. Press the lever for the track control first to change the switches, then operate the levers on the wall of the respective switch for the track on which you want the train to stop. After that, press the lever for track control again so the switches won't change. Once the train rolls in, after that you can change the signals in the console to departure. Keep in mind, they can only change the signal from platform 3 manually at a time. Or, uh, yeah, on platform 3 manually at a time. For regulated and fast traffic, you should probably redirect trains to another track. Good luck, Bob. That sounds difficult. This, this, this sounds like incredibly complicated. What's, what's going on? What? Something about like a lever and like... Uh, and what? Uh, uh, I give up. I leave. I go over here. What's that? There's a photo, by the way, over here. I'll get the photo, by the way. Hold on. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> me? Not me. Not you. I guess. Alright. Let's see here. Can I look at the nose again? Okay. Train the name on the phone. The primary show up on the console. Press the lever for the track control first to change the switches. Then... Operate the levers on the wall or the switch for the track on which you want the train to stop. After that, press the lever for track control again so the switches won't change once the train rolls in. After that, you can change the signals and console to departure. Keep in mind, you can only change the signal on platform 3 manually at the moment. So platform 3 in particular, you gotta change the signal manually. All right, listen to me, Cora. The train will be arriving shortly. Use the levers behind you on the wall to make it stop on a platform where you can get to it in time and it won't just pass through. If you can make it, leave this place. Don't look back, don't come back. There's nothing left here for you. Only death. 
Hello, well, Cora. Um, to be honest, I don't know <laughs> what platform. Okay, well, I don't know. What, what platform do I leave the train on? Here, and then... Number one? Which one's the console? Where's the console? Oh, here you go. Here's the console. I thought that was like a... I didn't know this was the console. I thought that was like some kind of weird slab of rock i don't know um all right okay hmm so it's going to a i guess Number three goes over there, and it should stop because number three... Because the only ones... This is so confusing to me, but like... Basically, the, each number represents a track on the train station, right? The signals, which is red and green, represent whether or not it just simply goes past or stops. So really, the only choices we have is two, three, and six. And three maybe is the correct one because it's the closest the middle of the train station and I think that's correct like I'm not sure what's the difference between stopping it in the other track it seems like I can't do it on um one for some reason not sure why. I don't remember, to be honest. Like, uh, uh, you know, apparently we can't stop it at, uh, oh, not one, rather a two or whatever. But right now it's stopped at, uh, three, I think. And there's a red light, so it just stops there. Ah, oh, it's a weird puzzle. Like, I actually don't fully understand it. Maybe it's because I need to really, <laughs> it would help if I had the map of the train station, you know? So what was that now? I, I think it was just door slamming. Because I wanted to stop here. Number one. <laughs> you know, what I initially wanted the train to stop at was just number one. Just stop at here. You know, this is the closest train station. So you would think stopping it at, at two or whatever would be best. But it's not? I don't know. Not sure. Number two, you think number two, or you're stopping number two? You're stopping number three instead? I don't... Anyway, whatever. Let's just go in. Which I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but... I have to switch the signal first to get the train moving. Yeah, number three had to be manually switched, that's why I believe. I mentioned something about how you like, manually switch it. see anything. Not from here? Okay. You know, I just don't know how trains work, I guess. <laughs> the train part was confusing. I don't know how trains work. I wish there was a primer of how, like, trains work in the first place. I don't know how it works. Everything's just automatic. <laughs> um, I feel like in modern day. It's just a Robot lady voice that just says what station you'll be at. You just, I don't know. I don't know how trains work. 